Now, Surya Namaskar is not about sun, wor sun worship as some people think it is. Surya Namaskar is about integrating the sun within you. There is no life on this planet which is not solar powered. All of us are solar powered, whether it's a plant, animal, insect, bird or human being. Essentially, we are solar powered. If you manage this solar energy within you in a certain way, then you will live a certain quality of life. Surya Namaskar or Surya Kriya, which is a higher level of practice, if you do these practices, you learn to manage your energy well. This is needed for everybody. I refuse to recognize people as Muslims or Christians or Hindus. I see human beings as human beings. This is a technology for human well-being. Let's understand that much. But does the implementation of yoga need such a confrontation? See, if yoga was implemented by previous governments, nobody would have protested. Because a particular government, now a particular party is in power and people recognize that as belonging to a certain community, these problems are coming. Otherwise, right from 1947, if everybody said in all schools you must practice yoga, gladly everybody would have practiced. I'm saying people are taking a political stance. The problem with the country right now is, people have predetermined stance about everything. This must go. All intelligent human beings look at every issue as it is. What's good for us, we must choose that, rather than taking predisposed positions on everything. Do you saying that it's a, yoga is a separate thing from Hinduism or Hindu religion? See, if yoga is Hindu, then gravity must be Christian. Let's all float around, let's not be available to gravity. There is no such choice. How the human mechanism works, it doesn't matter what you identify yourself with, it doesn't matter in which way you're brainwashed, but you must understand human mechanism is not your making, it is nature's doing. A profound understanding of that and how to bring that to its highest level is yoga. Every human being should make use of it irrespective of who they are. So you said that you are teach, uh, the Isha Foundation is teaching yoga in schools also. Oh, uh, a forceful inclusion of yoga in the school curriculum, is it good? Well, you never protested forceful inclusion of physics or chemistry, did you? No, but yoga is no. a different thing. Why is it a different thing? It's an exercise. Kind no, of. no, no. It is not an exercise. Forcefully, you are made to learn the chemistry of the plant. You call it biology. Forcefully, you are made to study the chemistry of a frog by, cro you know, cro uh, by creating unspeakable cruelty to the frog. But if I tell you, please learn something about your inner mechanism, that becomes forceful. Why? This is why I said our brains are still in Greenwich Mean Time. The British left in 1947, but they've not walked out of our head yet. That's a problem. This is a science with which India grew. This is a science with which Indian people achieved heights at one time. We were the greatest economy on the planet, the largest exporter on the planet. We were the most scientifically advanced nation thousands of years ago, simply because people understood the human mechanism well and how to take it to its highest level. But today we've dropped that. Today we are down below, but it's time to rise. If a nation has to rise, Individual human beings have to rise, isn't it? If individual human beings do not achieve a certain level of balance and excellence within themselves, how do you expect to take a nation ahead? It's just a joke, it's only a political slogan, it's never going to happen. In that context, we want every child, doesn't matter from which community they come from, that, is, that should not even come the thought, we want every child to benefit. We want every child everywhere in the world to benefit from this because this is a profound science of inner well-being. But there comes the uh, conflict between individual liberty and faith. Tell me, if you bend your body, will your faith go away? What kind of faith is that? I am not asking you to worship any god. If you breathe, your faith will go away? If you don't breathe, your life will go away, you must know that <laughs> About the faith uh, we are talking See, about. See, the faith problems are not faith problems. These are political issues. As I said, 
if yoga was brought by another party or another government, nobody would have protested. Unfortunately, it is being brought by a party which is recognized as Hindu. Because of that, this problem. You said that yoga is a science, but most people believe that it's a, it's a kind of faith or it's a practices. Who is that most people? I believe so. <laughs> <laughs> you believe so? <laughs> I'm telling you, then you have not practiced yoga, obviously. Yeah. Yes. So if you assume things which you have not practiced, which you are not exposed to, what can I do? See, you have no exploratory mind, you have a prejudiced mind. What to do? Please explore and see. Just do yoga and see whether your faith will change or not. <laughs> in the Surya Namaskar case, they don't uh, want the chanting at that time. There is no chant in Surya Namaskar, whoever is adding it. But uh, today I, I had a breakfast from here. So there is a chanting before the, the breakfast. Chant about? Yeah. Did you know Oms the meaning of the chant? Yeah, I know that. What? Om Sahana Bhavadu Sahana yeah, What does it mean? Let us eat together, let us be together, let us generate energy together and let us create something beautiful together. Is it a problem? Is that not what we need in this country right now? In a diverse nation like this, where there are hundred different differences between all of us, is it not important we chant Sahana Vavatu? That let us be together, let's do things together, is it not very important? Why is it against your faith or my faith?